Hello everyone. All right, today we're gonna look at this, I would say computer game I've got, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Hyper Desert Operation. <laughs> they don't make PC games like this anymore. This was meant to put on a bookshelf, almost like a book. You'll see it's got a nice plastic case and uh, definitely something from Japan. I don't know too much about this. I did do a little bit of research on it beforehand, but this is a CD-ROM game that came out in 1992, which is kind of unusual because CD-ROMs were not mainstream at that point. One, you needed to have a PC that could handle a CD-ROM drive and um, run it at sufficient speeds, and you'll see that the requirements here for this. Two, this is also on a proprietary uh, PC not IBM compatible, I believe. This is a FM Towns made by Fujitsu. Uh, CD-ROM, I'm guessing two megabytes is the RAM requirement for this. And the price on this is 9,800 yen. So, man, this thing probably, at that, at that point, 9,800 yen was probably like something like 70 or 80 bucks, if I had to guess. But we'll take a look at the contents of this. They're in very good condition. Let's see if I can get this case open. But yeah, look at this manual. This is insane. Um, a few different things. We'll take a look at each one. I kind of want to go through this. Um, I've also got a World of Warcraft uh, collector's edition I'll probably review as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, one, the CD is in its original jewel case and has not been opened. So this is new in box, technically doesn't have the original shrink wrapping or wrapping around it, but this is new in box. It has not been opened, so odd to see a CD-ROM. CD-ROMs were not mainstream at this point. It took a few years to, or most computers even, be equipped with a CD-ROM in the first place. Everybody's still using three and a quarter or five and a, five and a quarter or three and a half inch floppy drives. So big step up. I think a three and a quarter, three and a half could hold 1.44 megabytes. And a CD-ROM, I believe, is around, what, 620 megabytes? So 500 floppy disks, roughly. All right. Just some Japanese annotated, uh, I'm guessing, information cards. You would buy things uh, mail order, and this would be a list to purchase things mail order <laughs> before the internet, right? So... There was internet at this point, but again, not mainstream in 92. Um, the, you would have bulletin board services and stuff of that nature, but things like mainstream internet dial-up access wouldn't be commonplace until at least the mid-90s. So America Online, CompuServe, those types of services. So those wouldn't be mainstream until, yeah, the mid-90s or so. So it looks like there's a price list for this stuff. You have MSX, which is another uh, computer type, PC-88, PC-98, X-68000, and then FM. So this is a Fujitsu FM Towns. So the desktops that we know, the ones that run Windows, IBM PC compatible would be what you would look for on the box to make sure that your stuff would work with your typical Intel x86 type operating systems, Windows, DOS, and yeah, looks like you can mail order stuff on here. <laughs> really cool. Um, I think it would be cool to take Google Lens and try to translate this stuff, but I'll do that separately, perhaps. All right, we've got the uh, manual itself. I believe these are annotated. Well, one, they're in Japanese, but it's cool, man. Like, PC game manuals back in the day had nice art inside of it. It was really an experience. Almost like how flying used to be a luxury experience versus now. They stick you in a little aluminum metal tube like cattle. And you just have to cope until you get to your destination. But uh, back in the day, yeah, you used to have operating manuals that were... Looks like hand... No, these are digital illustrations, but... You know, great art, very descriptive instructions on how to install the software. Um, troubleshooting guide. 
you know, because you couldn't quite look this stuff up on the internet, everything that you needed to know how to operate the software that you purchased would need to come um, in the box, in the manual. Um, otherwise, you'd probably have to call like a hotline, a tip line to get some troubleshooting information, some instructions on how this thing works. But apparently this is a, uh, it's a hex base strategy game, which I find quite fascinating, very much in the vein of, you know, something like Fire Emblem or Disgaea. Um, I actually do want to try to play this thing. This is right up my alley. Um, since strategy gaming is kind of my interest in gaming when I do play video games. So that's the manual. Let's look at a few of the other things here. Looks like there's a soft catalog for other things. Um, so yeah, look at this. It's just old, pretty amazing stuff. Looks like that's a prequel game. A couple other... This is a desert operation. This is the one that we're looking at now. PC 98. Um, looks like there's a few other anime games. I'd love to look, try and see if I can find the ROMs for these and try to boot them up. But yeah, this is old 90s anime. Cool stuff. Aura Battler Dunbine. I wonder if they ever turned that into an anime. <laughs> Magical Stories Series Part 1. <laughs> part 2. Oh man, I love this old 90s style anime. I never was too big into anime, but this stuff makes me very nostalgic. Um, I love this Macross, Gundam, anything with Mecha. So, fantasy role playing game Ivar Torn vs. Nag. <laughs> and then Nobunaga. Yeah, so it looks like there were those types of games back there in the... I'm guessing this is about mid-90s. It's like another sheet. I'm not even sure what this is for. Is this a... Um, I don't know. I can't read Japanese, but the way I would translate this is this looks like a troubleshooting form of some sort. Maybe a replacement order. It looks like you can mark what kind of disc format here so this looks like a troubleshooting form i see a lot of different things but that and then finally the data book this looks quite fascinating um and yeah the artwork nice ha i think hand-drawn illustrations and i don't want to try to damage this too much as i flip through here but Sure, some of you would be able to recognize the illustrations. Um, I'm just a casual Gundam fan. I wouldn't be able to tell you off the bat the names of any of these machines, but um, you know, I love Battletech as well. I grew up, Battletech was my favorite sci fi universe, and mecha, and futuristic science fiction, robots, spaceships, tanks, stuff like that is. Just very cool to me. But yeah, wow, look at these illustrations. Just great stuff. Looks like some data cards on the characters in the game. A few more Gundam illustrations. Trying to get all the pages on the camera here. Yeah, these these illustrations are pretty awesome to look at here. Very cool. need to rush through this just taking my time getting all of this on camera here very cool art whoa
try not to bend the spine of the book either since it's just got one of those staples on it and uh, you'll crease it up and eventually those it'll fall apart if you do that but wow what what the what great art and illustrations and so much of it this is like 64 pages it looks like on page what 50 here but yeah just all the different gundams i was walking through uh don quixote here in, in hawaii and i saw the gundam display so maybe i can identify and uh pick up a gunpla and put it together <laughs> on the channel <laughs> but yeah wow Great illustrations here in this book. Very cool. Almost at the end here. Could use Google Glasses, or not Google Glasses, but Google Lens maybe to translate some of this stuff. We live in the future now. Um, 30 years ago, I would not have been able to read this, but I recognize a few hiragana and katakana characters. The kanji is certainly out of my depth. <laughs> 64 pages. Alright, well that's that. What a great illustration, some great illustrations um, depicting that early era of anime from the 90s, so going to pull this out of my storage nice to get this on camera and uh yeah one of the few games i have in fully preserved in close to new in box condition so cool to show this off anyhow that'll do it for the video um hope you enjoyed it awesome thanks for watching